الطاهرين. ورد عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله أنه قال أوصيكم بالشبان خيرا فإنهم أرق أفئدة وأن الله بعثني بشيرا ونذيرا فحالثني الشبان وخالثني الشيوخ ثم قرأ صلى الله عليه وآله فطال عليهم الأمد فقست قلوبهم This words of the Prophet peace be upon him that he talks about the importance of youth and how should the adults the elders in community preserve the youth As you know brothers and sisters the youth in their early age they are in a very critical time of their age because it is this time that develops their character and makes what they believe in and what they stand for and the youth whether we like it or not eventually are considered to be the leaders of the future just 15 or 20 years from now you will see this generation has gone and the generation of the youth that are used to play at the street or have fun and enjoying them time, their time all of a sudden they become the adults and they have to run the business and take from the prime minister to the mayor to the provincial election officials wherever to the teachers professors doctors everything eventually it will be at the hand of youth and here is a great importance that Islam has emphasized on their character and their time the hadith says regarding the importance of time and how we should utilize this time Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi says لا تزل قدم عبد يوم القيامة حتى يسأل عن عمره فيما أفناه وشباده فيما أبلاه. At the day of judgment, the first question that the person will be asked is how he has spent his life and how he spent his youth based on what? What did he do in his youth? Therefore, youth is considered to be, if not the most critical time in life, it is one of the most critical times that anybody has to face with in his age. Now, what are the features of youth? Number one is the physical appearance. The physical status. The youth is considered to be the top in power in anyone's age. We start from weakness and it gradually move towards strength and from there again we go dwindle to weakness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala coins youth with power. Allah alladhi khalaqakum min dha'f thumma ja'ala min ba'd dha'fin quwwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first creates you from weakness and then after weakness he gives us strength خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ ضَعْفٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلَ مِنْ بَعْدِ ضَعْفٍ قُوَّةٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلَ مِنْ بَعْدِ قُوَّةٍ ضَعْفًا وَشَيْبًا Afterward we dwindle and we go toward a downturn path so the at most and the optimum level is this youth where everybody develops his power, his physical power, either the men, their masculinity, the women, their femininity, 
and they reach the optimum strength of their age, of their life. Of course, it's not always like that. And fortunately, nowadays, the studies show that adolescents, and this is statistics pertaining to U.S., one out of six people is inflicted with obesity that brings, you know, multiple problems. Brings diabetes, it brings cardiovascular diseases, arthritis, orthopedic diseases. Of course, I don't want to be intruders because here we have valuable doctors who they agree with me, but that's what the finding has shown. That despite the fact that youth is considered to be on the top of power and strength, unfortunately, nowadays, we have abused it. You see that the adolescents are not as strong as they used to be. One day, they asked Mullah Nasruddin, he was 70 years old, 75 years old, they told him, have you been weakened since your youth? Do you see that your power has been reduced? He said, no, absolutely not. But close to my home, there, was, there used to be a big rock. At that time, I, I could not lift it. I cannot lift it now. Still, my power is the same, has not changed. So the physical appearance is the first feature of the youth. The hormonal level, reaches its development and reaches its optimum level, their masculinity, their power, their vigor, their energy all reaches the optimum level at youth age, at youth years. The second feature is the social, the one where the society takes a different look at them. At them. They're no longer considered to be children, the society, the adults give them more responsibility, they rely on them more, they will have more accountability, and they are recognized in the community. The emotional and psychological feature is the most important one. At that stage, youth develop two features. Number one is independence. They would like to have self-autonomy, independence for themselves. They hate to be ruled. They don't like to be told what to do or what not to do. They reach a level of self-confidence at a time where they can develop their own rations and their own judgment and they hate so much to be told what to do or what not to do. Therefore, sometimes this self-autonomy develops into rebellion, meaning that they become rebellious toward the elders, their parents, the old people in their community or in their family. The reason is to say, hey, we are good enough to make our own judgment. We are independent. Enough the days that you kept ruling us enslaving us, thinking we are children, telling us what to eat, what to drink, where to go, what to spend our time, now is enough. We have developed our own thoughts and our own mentality. One day, a guy asked a little boy, he was maybe seven, eight years old, 